Twitch. I need more viewers. How will I make $10,000 a day by just looking cute in my short shorts? I need more engagement. Ooh, sorry. The Twitch gods to give me an idea on how to raise engagement on my channel. Why do I have to be so unpopular on Twitch? I only have one viewer, and I think it's my mom. I need an idea to help me raise engagement. But all my viewers want to see is me get in pain and torture and suffering. What can I do? Oh, yeah. Can no one shock me for a second? He's holding a knife. Credits on me? Ah! One of you dicks fucking shocked me. Ah! Zai, fuck off, dude. You're killing me. <laughs> And so here we are. Welcome everyone to a new video where I build something really dumb that no one cares about but everyone really enjoys because it's really dumb. That's a long ass title. As you saw in the intro skit, we wanted to bring up engagement on a Twitch channel. And we know people on Twitch love to see others suffer and get angry and pain. They, they love the emotional manipulation of people watching someone suffer live. So I thought of a way to do that and actually to give chat control of the pain and suffering for a price. The first step was to decide the type of torture and me not being educated in self-harm other than playing League of Legends, I had no clue what to do. So I had to do countless hours of research to find the worst types of torture and here are the ones that I found. We have water, electricity, and a bright blinding light and especially in a dark room that's why a lot of developers don't use white themed websites because it hurts their eyes so now that we know what we want to do we have to go and find devices that will do these things and that's exactly what i did so for water i just went with one of these generic spray bottles that you'd find at a normal store slapped a fat motor to it which was a lot harder than you'd think and all you got to do is connect the string and it will automate water spray Next up was the electricity, and to shock myself, I was thinking about going for a full-on taser, which you can find on Amazon, but the problem is, I don't think I'd be able to stream if I was paralyzed on the floor, screaming and crying. So I went for one of these. These are called 10 units. We've seen them all over the internet. All they do is stimulate your muscle. When I say all they do, they do it in quite a bit amount of pain if you put it high enough. Ah! Pretty much you have these pads, like these. You take your arm, you put one here, you put one here and when you shock yourself it'll stimulate your bicep because the electricity is literally going through your bicep and make your arm fling forward in pain God, that hurts. now one thing to know is if you're not familiar with electricity please don't try these things because they can be really dangerous like if you were to take these two and put them between your heart or an important organ you can really screw up that organ so please do be careful if you do play with one of these which are really easy to get for like 30 bucks on amazon and then the last piece was to blind myself and i couldn't do much for that because i don't have many bright lights so i just took the leds inside of really bright lights and stuck a bunch of them together in parallel and just aimed it at my face and it'll blind the shit out of me one thing you should know and should always be careful about is with these pads, electricity flows through them and you would never want to put these in two dangerous spots. Like me holding these two right now is really dangerous if this was on because electricity would flow from this arm all the way down through my heart, through any other important organs, all the way to this arm and complete the circuit back to the box here. So you want to be really careful on where you place these and how you place them. I do not recommend playing with this. It can get really dangerous. That's why when you're a kid they tell you don't stick a fork or whatever in the wall plug because it's going to find a way to, to the shortest, to the, le the path of least resistance and sometimes that could be through your heart or through something really important and you don't want to screw those up because you don't get a free one. Then for the blinding, I didn't have much to deal with. I didn't have many lights other than the one I'm using right here that really blind me and I didn't want to activate that one. 
So I just took a bunch of LEDs from a bunch of toys and things that are really bright, removed the stripping so that they're even brighter, and then stuck six of them together to make it insanely bright. Now to make all that work, I had to connect it all together to an Arduino and write a bunch of code that connects to Twitch or YouTube or whatever platform you're using and lets people activate this bot through chat. Now like in every video, I like to talk about one piece of tech or software or something to teach you guys that diffuses from the entertainment and kind of goes into a little bit of educational and today we're going to go over relays. In this build, I have something called a relay that I'm using right here to connect the taser to the Arduino. It takes in an input from the Arduino and then it takes in the power in and the power out from the taser. And then what happens is electronically I can tell the relay to open or close kind of like a switch. So right here I have a switch and it gets in a power in and a power out. And when you flick the switch to on, it opens that circuit and lets electricity flow through to the other side. When you click it off, it cancels that flow and stops it right here. And that's what the relay is doing in my case as well. I'm electronically flicking the switch on and off using your donations or whatever credits in chat. That's what's happening with this relay right here, except there's no physical touch that I need to do to it. It's all through software allowing me to electronically control things. So if you took a relay and connected it to your light switch, and then when it heard a loud sound like a clap, would turn on the light, and when it heard a loud sound again, like a clap, would turn off the light, that could work too. That's what relays would be used for. Now, one thing you should know before you start playing with relays is relays can take different amount of power. You should make sure that the one you're talking about or the one you're using can actually take the power that you're gonna be putting through it. The way it works is you get credits as a chatter for doing things, whether it's donating money, subscribing to the channel, which costs money, following, which is free, watching, so if you watch for 10 minutes, let's say you can get a credit, or you can use a command called roll, where you roll between one to six and you have to guess the number you roll. So if I roll and guess four and I land on a four, I get a credit. So you have to play for credits or buy credits or just find a way to get credits into your name. Once you get credits into your name, each credit is equal to one second of torture. So if I have five credits and I choose uh, that I wanna shock Mike live for five credits, that's gonna be five seconds of me getting tased in pain like you saw earlier. If you choose blind, you can choose blind. If you choose water bottle, you can choose water bottle. You can use all three if you'd like, but you have to make sure you have the credits to actually activate everything. Now this is a little trickier than you'd think because what if everyone starts spamming the same command? You have to queue these things. So like if five people spam five seconds of taser, we have to shock me for 25 seconds, I think. Yeah. So 25 seconds of being shocked, that's, the, you know, you gotta figure those things out. Let me show you some commands, we'll go over the commands, and then we'll show you a live test on stream that uh, I'm totally excited for. I also already streamed this a couple days ago when I was fully testing the final product, so hopefully I have some, a couple highlight clips I can put over here for you guys to see. So here are some of the commands. You have the roll command, which you do exclamation point, roll, and then a number let's say four, and if you roll four, it'll tell you, hey, congratulations, you rolled a four, you get a credit. And if you type in exclamation point credits, you'll see the number of credits you now have. Now, let's say you have 10 credits and you're feeling risky, and this is my one chance of getting back at you if you do have a lot of credits, because I don't want to get shocked for 10 seconds. So I give you the option of a coin flip. If you land on the coin side that you guessed, you double your coins or credits. If you don't, you lose everything. So if I have 10 credits and I roll, he I flip heads and I get heads, I get 20. If I flip tails, I go back to zero. It's my one chance at screwing you over to trying to screw me over. Then uh, we have a bunch of like moderator commands like give Mike 10 credits or give this person or remove from somebody. And then we have like help commands to help you get started with the game because I don't want to be explaining the game every two seconds. Then we have the torture commands, which is exclamation point blind and a number, so like 10, that's 10 seconds, shock and spray. And those are the three commands we currently have. And this thing can scale, so you can, as long as you add hardware and connect it all, which is actually really freaking easy, you just make a new file, you put the code in there, and it's done, and you call that file whatever item it is. So if I felt like I wanted to add a punching machine, all I would have to do is connect the punching machine to the Arduino to a certain port, make a new file, called it, call it exclamation point punching machine, and then I'd be ready to go, it'd be super easy. So now, as you can see, I have the taser machine hooked up to me, all ready to go, and I'm gonna go in Twitch chat and type in the command uh, shock five, 
And when I enter that, you're gonna see my arm contract off of the keyboard into the into the frame. Ah, fuck! Look at that. <laughs> look at look at the. I can't control it. <laughs> oh. Uh, and there we go. Oh, that's so painful. <laughs> Stop. I'm shocking myself and I'm saying stop to the camera for some reason like it's gonna do something like if I try and push against my hand You can see my bicep contracting and then the second that I turn it off if I use the physical switch It just goes loose and if I shock it again ah, Fuck I also already streamed this a couple days ago when I was fully testing the final product So hopefully I have a couple highlight clips I can put over here for you guys to see All right, so now you have 10 credits each credit goes to one second of torture Right now, the only options are blinding me or shocking me. If you want to shock, it's pretty simple. I'm going to do one myself. Ah, fuck. Okay. So now I got shocked for 10 seconds. Oh, nice. Set. Oh, ah! <laughs> it worked! You shocked me and fucked up my gameplay. Not really, I was dead, but... You can get credits on me? Ah! One of you dicks fucking shocked me. Ah! Zai, fuck off, dude. You're killing me. <laughs> this is gonna make me hate all of you. Fuck. Can no one shock me for a sec because I'm holding a knife? I don't wanna shock me? Give me a little baby shock, Arena. Anyone feeling spicy today? Ah! Fuck! Shock 10. Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck! Ah, that fu ah, that fucking hurt! I can't... It's squeezing my bicep. Ah, this fucking hurt. It feels... If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. I put a lot of work into it. It actually took a lot longer than I thought, which is why this video came out so messy compared to what I had set up. If you got anything you want to learn how to build or anything you're interested in, please do let me know. I'll see you in the next one.